What does it take to get 1,500 graduating seniors across the finish line? Today, we're going to visit with each of our high schools to find out. Welcome to the update. The end of the school year brings a lot of activity across our school system. High schools are the epicenter of a lot of big things that are going on at this time of year. So today we're going to take a look at our graduation ceremonies. You know, graduation is a result of a lot of hard work by our students and a lot of hard work by our staff goes into putting on a great commencement ceremony that parents and students can be proud of. We're getting ready for May 24th through 26, and we want to show you today some of the work that goes into those events. So stay with us as we go to Drake Stadium and we visit with Noonan High School lead counselor Pam Lewis and Principal Chase Puckett to talk about all the hard work that goes into preparing for the big night. Dr. Puckett, Miss Lewis, thanks for being with us today. We are back from spring break, and uh, it's all downhill from here, isn't it? Downhill, it's both a sprint and a marathon. We have teachers trying to get students across that line, and our counselors and staff members are all getting ready for the biggest show in town, and everyone's building to the most popular event we have in the community, which is graduation. Yeah, and graduation's a huge deal, and every graduation has a quarterback, and your quarterback is sitting right next to you, Pam Lewis. Pam. Yes, sir. It's a four-year endeavor to get kids to the stage and across it. Yes, sir. There's a lot that goes on. So talk about the lead up from freshman year until now and what that's like from, from a student counselor perspective. Well, um, when they first enter in ninth grade, um, obviously parents are always nervous about the high school transition. Um, by the time we're getting into our senior year, we are talking about college, military, work. So the transition between the four years is really huge. Um, how many credits you have to graduate? Uh, what tests do I have to take? Um, do I qualify for HOPE? Um, there's just a lot of conversations happening between the student and the counselor. Yeah, I mean, and you gotta make sure that you don't miss something. You've got yes. almost 500, a little bit over 500? Our counselors average five to 600. Yeah, so five to 600 kids on a caseload and you're gonna graduate approximately 500 this May, right? Over 500. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we gotta make sure that every single credit is accounted for. Yes, sir. All the appropriate required courses are taken and everything else that goes into it. That's a lot. And my heart's racing as you're saying Yeah, that. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. So yes, um, making sure um, we certify graduation uh, making sure that students have the credits they need uh, per the DOE and the Kelly County School System. Um, but more than that, making sure every kid that walks across the stage knows where they're going, what yep. they're doing. Um, that's the goal of the counseling office and the team at Newton High School. Our teachers work very closely with our students, our advisors do um, as well. So it's not just the counseling team, it's the school as a whole. Yeah, a ton of intentional work that gets us to this really special time and I want us to camp out here for a little while. Dr. Puckett, talk about, we got 33 days of school left, six and a half weeks, not that any of us here are counting. What's going on around here leading up to graduation? We've got everything from facilities and chairs and stages that we start pulling together. We have to make sure that the uh, diplomas are ordered and the kids' names are on them and the superintendent's names and the board members' names are on it correctly but also we have teams that have their own area they focus on for graduation. So over the next week, we'll be sharing out the graduation duties and we'll be going through and meeting as a team to make sure we do a walkthrough because every year graduation has a new challenge. So all three of our high schools, we're all working to make sure that we have a positive event, that rain or shine, we're ready to go, and that when people come to a graduation, they know that that one night when the whole community comes together, it's a positive, safe, and public environment where we can all have a fun time celebrating their graduate. Yeah, and a lot, 
a lot. You just mentioned a lot that goes into that. And Pam, the ceremony, I've learned over the years, it's really your, it's your baby. Cause you're a mom. And you got a senior or a student here. I have a senior. A senior now. Yes, Had sir. Had one a couple years ago, too. Yes, sir. So <laughs> it's really something that's deep down in your heart to make it special for the kids, but more so for the thousands of people that have invested in these kids and are going to be here on graduation night. Talk a little bit about the effort that goes into that and some of the things that you're doing to make sure that it, that it goes off the way it needs to. Well, Noonan is historically known for our traditional graduation. Um, we, we pride ourselves in that. Um, while we don't have our auditorium, um, and we miss that, um, there is nothing more special than that moment. When you see seniors, um, whether we were in our auditorium or down Cougar Way, I, Dr. Puckett gets to witness that, I'm here on the field. Um, you see that innocence in that child's eyes the moment they're walking down Cougar Way. When they come up this hill, it is a very special moment as an educator. Um, so as a parent, yes, but as an educator, um, the kids that are smiling that you know that you are dragging them. Hey, you gotta come to school. You gotta finish this econ class. Um, no, you can't be tardy 10 times. Um, it's, it's a very special moment. Um, so as a parent, yes, but as an educator, it is really a very, very special moment to see a kid say, I succeeded. I, I finished the race. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you know, we have this conversation a lot of times with principals. The work's hard, but in that moment, it's it is all worth it. Yes, sir. It is all worth it. And that's yes, the sir. moment, you know, for me, for you guys, I know that it's like, yep, we did it. it they made it. It definitely is. And, and those students, when they hug you and they, they say, you know, I'm here because of you. And that's not just me. That's every educator, um, a parent, a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle. Um, it's huge. Yeah. It's a, we have approximately about 8,000 people that attend graduation. Um, so we're the largest event yeah. in Noonan yeah. every year, I think. Yeah. And, it's, and it's personal. It's personal for you guys. I know it's personal for the teachers and staff here because you care about these students and, and this is success for them yes, and, and they're on to, to whatever's next in their life, but they got to get through this first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So a lot goes into it, Dr. Puckett, and it has, um, I guess we can laugh about it now. It's changed over the past few years. It has. I was just thinking when Ms. Lewis was talking about <laughs> that moment with the students, but we've had to create some new traditions yeah. and one of the most powerful visual images for our students when they graduate, you could hear it through the crowd when they see the buses drive up the street and their student gets off that Coweta County School System bus for the last time. Yes. And they walk down the hill onto this field. You can feel the energy. Um, and the part we're proud of is that we not only got that kid from kindergarten through 12th grade, but at Noonan High School, we got them through graduation. We got them through a four year education here with those positive memories that they will remember long after they forget the content. And as we're reminded, you know, the winds were strong, but our roots were stronger. You see those roots in the stands, on the field, and with the staff members cheering the kids on as they get their names called. That's when you know public education truly is the difference maker in our community. And, and Ms. Lewis, all senior classes are special, so I'm not asking you to pick and make one a favorite over the other, but this one oh. is a truly special senior class. They've been through a lot, and they have been very resilient. Well, you know, they, they started their high school career normal, <laughs> spring, COVID. And I don't like talking about COVID and tornado. I like to focus on the future. Yeah. Um, and this class has persevered. Yeah. Um, UGA and Georgia Tech both have told me personally um, they were impressed by Noonan High School's class. Um, yes, it's one of my favorite classes for obvious reasons. But when you want to talk about perseverance, when you look at test scores and you look at grades and you look at nationally how this class has competed, um, it's very impressive, very impressive. Um, we have our largest uh, Georgia um, Tech class um, graduating this year, um, entering. So there's a whole group of Noonan High School students that will be in Atlanta and um, our second largest Georgia class. So we're very, very proud of them. But we also have a large military um, class this year that are enlisting. Um, so 
overall just a really great class who's persevered and worked very hard through trying times and they still smile and come to school and they're ready for May 25th. Yep. Dr. Pug, they are a special class. Of course, I've heard you say they'll go down in history uh, with a lot of great Noonan High School classes. What do you want to say to them as we lead up to graduation? I would want them to know how incredibly proud we are of them. They have been leaders for the past uh, several years. Uh, they've been humble. They've been uh, very caring for each other. They've taken care of each other. And they've also been very flexible um, to our students and to our staff and to our parents. I would just say thank you for trusting us and thank you for working with us in an incredibly challenging situation. We hope we've made you proud. Yeah, and thank you guys for working so hard to make uh, graduation 2023 such a special night for these students and their families that they are so deserving of. Thanks for being with us today. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now we're going to go to the Nixon Center for Performing and Visual Arts to talk about the hard work that goes into preparing for Honors Night. So stay with us as we talk to Dr. Ashley Wilkes, Northgate High School principal, and Ms. Kathy Nixon, the director of the Nixon Center. Let's watch together. Thank you guys for being here today. We are in the Nixon Center, which is, uh, some would say, the crown jewel of Coweta County. What do you say, Ms. Nixon? I would agree completely and probably use even more adjectives I about the Nixon I Center. I am just hearing all of the adjectives. <laughs> that you're just about to use. I can exactly. only imagine. Exactly. Nixon Center's a pretty busy place, right? The Nixon Center stays busy because we have so many active schools involved in so many aspects of the arts and the academics. So we're excited, and especially with the Black Box Edition, we're able to even help our schools out even more. Yeah. we've. Uh made a lot of investment here over the last couple of years that's allowed you some flexibility to be able to do uh, exactly. some additional things, have more than one activity going on at once. Exactly. We can host an honors night in the auditorium because they'll anticipate an audience of a thousand while we're hosting a smaller choral group in the black box with an audience of about 300. So we have them coming and going all at the same time. Yeah, and I, I think people, most people probably don't realize you're round. I mean, this yes. place is, is busy year round. We're already gearing up for the summer because we have summer star programs. We have summer camp programs. As soon as August rolls around, we have back to school events for central office. And we're already calendaring for the school year 23-24. And if a school didn't get a date, too late now. We're full. <laughs> yeah, and of course, we're right here in the middle of spring, six and a half weeks or so of school to go. Not that anybody's counting, I'll right. say that 32 again. days. Um, 32 <laughs> days of school. Uh, and, and Ashley, yes. Northgate, has a lot going on here just in the next couple of weeks. Absolutely, we have Beauty and the Beast. Our production is next week here, so we'll Starting, start. Yes, we'll start bringing over sets and costumes and getting that set up. Um, we'll have our band and our chorus performances, and then also our honors night, which is a huge um, event that the center hosts for us every year. Yeah, and this is a great space to do all those things. Absolutely. And you know, um, I, I just hope everybody, hope everybody realizes and doesn't take for granted the opportunities that are provided to our kids through the Nixon Center. Absolutely, I think um, from our performances, I mean, it's just grade A. They get the lighting, they get the sound, and it really just puts on quality performances for our students and gives them that exposure um, for the fine arts. And I think it's an, a great experience for all of our and students. And the beauty is the cooperation. Absolutely. It's fun for the Nixon Center mm -hmm. to work with the schools and the schools to work with the Nixon Center. And the turnaround of, we may be hosting a choral group Absolutely. one night and honors night the next night. Absolutely. Yeah, and you, you lead right into where I wanted to go. <laughs> What does it take to put on some of these events? For instance, Honors Night for Northgate, your senior class is just over 400 yes, students. Mm -hmm. um, what all does that entail at the center level and at the school level to make sure that, that we pull off an event um, that is the type of event that our kids and their families deserve? And make a memory. We, yeah. we wanna make a memory for Absolutely. them. The key for me is communication that the center communicates with the schools and the schools communicate with the center, that we know exactly how many tables they need, exactly how many, the basic fundamentals, um, it, how many students are gonna be in the audience, how many adults are gonna be in the audience. They cooperate with us by bringing security. It's a huge issue now when we have 
1,300 people here at one night that they provide their own SRO that knows those students. So I think it works best through cooperation and communication. Yeah. Yeah. And, and actually, you guys plan these events months oh, in months. advance. Yes, we're already, I mean, we've already sent out our invitations for our students. Um, and it really goes back to that collaboration. And I think our students feel it too. So they feel a sense of pride getting to be recognized that night. Um, and we're already well into planning for our honors night. And it's really a neat night because it's a culmination of so many different recognitions for, for every level student. So we're gonna recognize, you know, Beta Club, National Honor Society, students that are getting courted, um, and then also individualized scholarships. So if they're getting individual scholarships from colleges, um, and even our West Georgia Tech students, they're all recognized that evening. So we can really celebrate all that they've accomplished in four years. Yeah, and it's nothing for your graduating class to have millions of dollars. Absolutely. That's probably my favorite part of the evening yes. is at yeah. the very end, um, we read out our total um, and yeah. it's always millions and millions of dollars. And um, it's just a really neat experience to have everyone in one room. Um, and it's, they're very long programs. I mean, sometimes they, they, are. Last, they, are. they last up to, um, you know, two hours, but it, it's because we have that many people we want to recognize and it's in such a great setting. Another part of that cooperation, Dr. Horton, is patrons of the center are involved mm -hmm. in the scholarship program yes. and yes. the arts, and a um, member of the patrons board comes and presents mm -hmm. those, and they especially like that when they're here at the center yeah. presenting a patron yeah. board It's truly a community event, because all of the sponsors for the um, scholarships are here, so it's really nice. And Kathy, you make a great point. Community-driven. I mean, those right. patrons, they are, they are champions of this facility. Right. Um, it is all community driven and they're they're simply wanting what, what's best for our students. And Dr. Horton, I think Ashley would agree the pride that the community takes in the building, Absolutely. whether it's academics, whether it's the arts, it's they truly feel special to mm -hmm. see their student walk across the stage and accept that scholarship Absolutely. or dance or perform and so cooperation and communication is, is a key for us. So, so as we lead toward the end of the year, what types of things are going on here? Um, I told a principal this morning, if it's happening in Coweta County, it seems to be happening here at the <laughs> so Nixon Center. Um, we host, for instance, School Nutrition has their end of the year banquet here. We host honors nights for East Coweta and for Northgate. We have multiple, multiple school performances, whether it be drama, choral. Um, we have end of the year when we honor the teacher of the year. We have retirement dinner for the school system. So if you can dream it, we can make it happen. <laughs> yeah, and you've got West Central Tech CEC graduation here. I know we have coming up, the administrative yes. workshop <laughs> coming up. So we, uh, we get a lot of use out of the Nixon Center. I just need an apartment. Just need an apartment. I knew I would not get through this without you telling me Needing one something. thing that you need. No doubt. Yes. So Ashley, tell me a little bit, of course, the end of the year is a special time, especially at a high school. Absolutely. What are your thoughts going into the end of the year, and what do you want for your students uh, as they get ready to walk across that stage? Um, end of the year is the best part of high school. I mean, you know, you get so many opportunities to celebrate. So we'll have honors night, which really, to be honest, kicks it off. It's Ours is May 1st, so it'll kick off the, the season for us in right. celebration. Um, and after that is kind of a downhill slope. We'll have our performances. We'll have our graduation practice, which is a huge event. Um, and it's just a time that I hope students really enjoy um, where they have gotten as an individual, but also all the people that have gotten there as well, because it truly is um, a K through 12 adventure. Yeah, and that's something we talk about, uh, literally a pre-K through 12 mm -hmm. collaboration right, absolutely. to get students across the stage. And, and we are putting on events here at the end of the year that are as much for the family right. as absolutely. they are for right. the students. So, um, and, and of course, this place. Right. It's the first place we bring new teachers. Yes. It's mm -hmm. one of the last places that we we have our students here with us before they walk across the stage. I think that's important. And we've now been here long enough, Dr. Horton, that we're seeing students who first performed on the stage as a pre-K student graduating or talking about what they did as a third grader or a fifth grader. So we've now been here long enough that they're, they're making those wonderful memories of their whole experience. Well, the Nixon Center is certainly a special place. I know we laugh when we say it, but it is one of the crown jewels of the community. And listen, a lot of places don't have a place right. like this. A lot right. of communities don't, so I hope we never right. take it for granted. Thank you all for what you were doing to, uh, to make sure that our kids uh, and their, their families uh, get to benefit from this place and that they have those memories to last a lifetime. So thank you all. It's great to work thank together. You. Yes, right. thank you so much. Thank you.
finally, we're going to go out to East Coweta High School to meet with Principal Steve Allen and the valedictorian and salutatorian of the class of 2023. It's going to be great to hear about all of the end of year events from a student's perspective. Mr. Allen, it's a great time of year, isn't it? It is a great time and it's a very busy time. Yeah, and we got got a lot going on. Of course, we got Andrew and Dean with us, your valedictorian and salutatorian for the class of 2023. And over the next uh, six weeks, man, we're going to be we're going to be doing a lot of recognitions, aren't we? Very, very many here at the School of Champions. We've got, uh, you know, several coming up, our scholarship night and our honors night and, and all kinds of different award nights. So, yeah. It's going to be a big be, deal. Yeah. Big deal. Always is. So, Andrew and Dean, let's start with you, Andrew. Valedictorian, almost 800 um, students in the class of 2023. What's that mean to you? Uh, that means a lot. Um, the fact that I was able to get the high grades and perseveres through some of the challenges that the classes gave to me. So I was really happy when I saw that I got to the top, but I would have been fine with being in the top 10 at least, or maybe in the top 5%, but getting top number one was a surprise. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And Dean, and you're involved in a lot of things around here. Talk about, talk about what being salutatory means to you, and maybe more importantly, you know, guys, let's be honest, the end of the year, a lot of this stuff's for you, but it's also for your families. Talk about what that means to your family. I think it means a lot specifically to my parents just because they sacrificed so much for me to get this opportunity. They came, my parents are immigrants, obviously, so it means a lot to see them work hard every day. Uh, I watched them go through the process to get their citizenship, and I think that uh, put a lot into me, gave me, showed me hard work, and I think it means a lot to them to see me at the top. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Mr. Allen, we're doing, of course, things here on campus culminating with graduation, but you also have honors and awards nights going on and, and things like that. Talk some about those things. Well, we have we have many things. You know, when you reach spring semester uh, in a high school, of, well, any high school, but a high school of our size, you can imagine starting in from, from February to through at the end of May, this is like New York City. It's something going on every night. So we have activities, and then, of course, we've got not just the honors, the scholarship nights, the, all, all the graduation that take, is taking place, but you also have the the um, sport um, uh, banquets that you have, all that that's going on. So it's a very busy time for administration for our kids, and uh, so we, we just keep that at the forefront. But it's 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 all, it's all great stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's and, all great stuff. And you know, you mentioned, um, of course, awards banquets for sports and whatnot. You know, we tend to think about end of year events as far as senior class goes, but pretty much every club organization every grade level uh, here at East Coweta High has something going on to celebrate the end of the year and to recognize uh, the great work of your teachers and students. Yeah, and these guys, have, these guys have been pounding it for four years. You know, I went back and I did a little research. Second grade, from second grade, the lowest score out of the, both these guys have had is a 95. Wow, wow. And from second grade. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, that's awesome. And, and well-rounded guys here. Yeah. I mean, Dean telling me he got back, what, 1 o'clock this morning yes, uh, from a soccer game in Colquitt County last night. Yes, sir. Wow, wow, awesome. Andrew, what are your plans moving forward? My plans moving forward, I plan to go to uh, Georgia Tech to major in mechanical engineering. Then afterward, probably get a job as a mechanical engineer. I don't mind staying inside of the state of Georgia or going international around United States or inside of Europe, I don't care. I just love doing my job, but I also love traveling, so. Awesome. Dean, what about you? Uh, I'm kind of at a crossroads right now. I'm trying to uh, pick whether I should give up soccer and attend Georgia Tech or continue to play soccer at Middle Georgia State. So uh, right now, I think I'll be going to Middle Georgia State and majoring in uh, double major, finance and accounting. And then from there, I want to get into the investment banking world, and we'll see where that takes me. All right, let's stay with you for a minute. You got six weeks left of high school, senior year. What do the last six weeks here mean to you? What are you looking most forward to? I say I'm looking most forward to prom and graduation. Um, obviously, I'm also looking forward to soccer playoffs. Um, so a lot of things I'm looking forward to, but mostly I'm just looking forward to enjoying the last couple of weeks with my classmates, class of 23. Uh, I've been with these guys for a while. We've been through a lot together, so I'm just looking forward to enjoying it with them. 
Awesome. Andrew, what about you? I'm looking forward to actually playing for the band because we may be playing some pieces that I made for some of the concerts. So that would be really cool to play. And then I'm also ready for a graduation somewhat because sometimes I like to chill, you know, have my last few months to myself, you know, just chillax before we hit college. And, yeah. you know. College is going to be a whole different, whole different game, huh? Yes. No doubt. Mr. Allen, talk to you. Talk to your parents, your senior parents specifically. As you guys work really hard to plan out all of these culminating events and recognitions, what are you trying to accomplish for those families? We want to make sure that we, that we do our very best with the amount of students that we have to recognize and, and to show appreciation for their hard work and dedication, not only to East Coweta High School, but for their families, and their families can recognize that achievement. And it gives me chills when we do graduation. When you see those families come in and this stadium is full of people that want to see these kids go on and, and, and do great things with their life, that's the impact. That it's watching them from that ninth grade year when they come in like, when, like deer in headlights, and you watch them grow up and you watch them get to make these uh, men and women uh, that they're going to go off and do something special. These are the these are the guys that's going to go off and do special things in their life. I know that. Um, and we've got the good outweighs the bad. And what I tell parents every day is, you know, um, at the end of the day, we want our kids in life to be happy. We can set and plan, and that's what I was telling him. You can plan you're going to be a mechanical engineer, but at, at the end of the day, life is about happiness. And as we grow older and have families, we tend to see that more and more. But doing something you enjoy, let the pressure be on them and let, the, let them decide how they decide to live and enjoy life. And I know you guys, are, of course, are working real hard to make sure that, that you have end of year events that not only can your students be proud of, but their families as well. It's interesting, you know, you talk about, we talk about educating the whole child and, and, um, and well-rounded students. Just in this conversation, we've talked sports, we've talked band. Uh, you got two guys that, that have options of, of where they want to go. You guys are really, you're really doing that work here to make sure that kids have as many opportunities as they can, not only to participate uh, in whatever academic courses they want, but clubs, organizations, fine arts, you're doing that here. It just shows you the hard work you put in these guys have put hard work in, just like, a, just like a tremendous amount of kids in this school, in any school. But it's what you put in is what you get from it. And, and they're seeing, the, they're reaping the benefits of that right now. And so many other kids are doing the same thing. And so we just want to continue to push, 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 and make sure that they end up as productive citizens and ECHS alumnus. Uh, whether it's soccer, mechanical engineering, or band, guys, I wish you... Uh, the best of luck in all your future endeavors, and I cannot wait to, to be on that stage looking down at you on the front row uh, at graduation here in, in just about six weeks. So thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations to the class of 2023 and thanks to all of our staff members at each of our high schools for all of the hard work that you're doing to ensure that this is truly a special time in the lives of our students. Folks, don't forget, subscribe to CCS TV uh, so that you can get access to videos that we share. They're also on our YouTube channel and on the school system website. We look forward to bringing you more information on the update as we move forward.